and I would like to share with you my story behind building this house with the design that you know it has. And honestly, I believe this is the most beautiful house in the city. floor the design has been done in a way that from different angles at different times of the day and or turn different lights on and every time you would get a different view it never gets boring that's all I can say as well as you know the beautiful you know indoor garden that is located right in between the kitchen and the dining room area with the kitchen of course one of the things is that you know as you can see the view looks like that there isn't enough cabinet I had to spend a little bit extra to make that hidden pantry looks very real. You can keep all your mess there and keep everything that can be seen very clean. Before the spider staircase be installed, I asked the gentleman who is building it and they don't want it to shake because normally it is built out of wood, but again, so that will have that shake. So for that reason, as you can see in a sample that I have in here, that he placed two steel plates on each string. It is is holding it solid. So when you step on this spiral staircase, nothing moves. In the main floor, as you can see, there is this deck that I call it floating deck, the oval shape. And believe it or not, even that has been over engineered. One more thing that um, we did to make it even more comfortable, this was not about the stability and the strength of the house. Very simple thing, we threw heat that normally comes through the registers out, especially with this open concept, when the heat comes out, it goes straight up. So what we did, very simple thing, we threw the heat inside the floor trusses and we put return air inside the floor trusses. So literally you get a heated floor, for free. When it comes to the backyard, I spent quite a bit extra for making it the way that it looks like. I didn't want to have fence around, uh, but at the same time, I wanted to have a little bit of a privacy. So, and we got that achieved by having different, you know, levels that there are three levels. If you want to sit and, you know, have a view of the outside and see people, you know, and the traffic, you can sit at one level. If you want privacy, then you can go to, you know, different levels. And then those boulders that you can see around, it's not just to make it look cool, but it is making it like a berm. In the backyard, to be honest, you can step at different, you know, locations of it, the lowest part in the courtyard or the middle part or the upper part. And anywhere you sit, you can turn your chair simply a few degrees and you will have a different feel. This house has uh, three independent suites uh, that can be used, you know, as you wish. It can be rented out or it can be, you know, as, a, as you have an extended family, you know, it can be there that obviously that can help quite a bit for the mortgage and you know have some source of income. After all, I know the question comes up, so it is such a beautiful house, so comfortable, so good as I'm explaining it, then why am I selling? Uh, when I wanted to build a house, actually I went and wrote a mission statement that what does this house should do for me? why am I doing it? I take things, I don't take them loosely, let's say. I plan things, I plan my life. Um, and one of the very main reasons I built this house again, to make it comfortable, that they want to come to, and that was one. But one of the biggest highlights was to make winter easier. Did it do the job? Absolutely. Winters are a lot easier. One thing that I didn't put in my mission statement, to make the winter warmer. I didn't do that. And of course I couldn't, unfortunately. And to be honest, as the time has gone by, I realized that um, I don't like the winters that much. And you know, I, and as I get older, you know, when I retire, how is gonna happen? How am I gonna spend my time when it comes during the winter? I don't want to be a snowbird. I don't like the idea as much. 
and uh, to that extent I have decided to move to move to somewhere warm and if you're curious where I used to live in Dubai and I'm thinking of moving back to Dubai for the time being remember I love Canada and Canada remains to be home <laughs>